What's going on all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And today, it is my honor to get to talk about the 45 years of 2000 AD anniversary art book. So, let's take a look at this together. And welcome back everybody. So, before getting started, I do want to thank the folks at 2000 AD for sending us copies of these books. Um, both of these are out right now. This one here is available everywhere. This is the exact same content that you're going to find in here, but this is the slipcase. This is only available through the 2000 AD shop. Uh, this one retailing for $39.99. Again, available everywhere. And this one here retailing for $51.99. Now... What we're looking at here is 45 years of 2000 AD. And that's crazy, like, to think about. Because my adventures with 2000 AD started just a couple of years ago with Judge Dredd. And I've read things like Zenith in the past. And I know a lot of the creators like Alan Moore and, of course, Grant Morrison and Steve Dillon. A lot of them came over from there, from the British invasion in the 80s here in America. But... I had never really read 2000 AD until I started reading Judge Dredd and I started making videos and I promised to return back to those videos, especially after making this one. But first, let's look at this. What are the differences? So this is a hardcover collection right here and this is the slipcase. 45 years of 2000 AD anniversary art book, even a different color for the spine right there and then the back of the book. And we're gonna take the uh, book out of the spine here in a little bit. 45 artists celebrate 45 years of 2000 AED. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about. The slipcase not only has um, a slipcase, but also has these prints. And all of these prints can be found inside of the book. So we're going to be looking at each of these. We can't look at all of them, of course, but we're going to be looking at some. But first, let's look at the differences here in the covers because everything else is identical this of course comes shrink wrapped by the way with all those prints and this is what the slip case looks like so um, everything else inside like I mentioned is identical so here we have the cover that is available everywhere and who we have here are the characters of Nemesis the Warlock uh, Halo Jones Sylvester Stallone, kidding, <laughs> Judge Dredd, and this is uh, Nikolai Dante. So all drawn by different creators. Over here, the book is just completely covered by the art that you're going to find inside. That's really cool. But I guess because this comes in a slipcase, the slipcase does tell you exactly what's going to be in the book. No dust jacket, just art on board. And again, some more pictures back here. Some of these creators you might know from different comics. Some of them are British creators. Some of them are American creators. But again, both of them having the exact same material inside. Let's take a look inside of this book and seeing exactly what you're in for. Now, before we get this opened, I did want to show the differences in the size. This is what a standard size trade paperback looks like. So you can see how much bigger it is than a trade. All right, let's get this open. So you have this as the end paper. And this may look familiar to you because this is exactly what the cover to the limited edition looks like. So it just has this as the end paper, which is exactly the end paper that they use for the limited edition slipcase. All right, Rebellion right here. So... 45 years of 2000 AD anniversary art book. 45 artists celebrating the galaxy's greatest comics. Here is your quick introduction and then your piece of art right there by Stuart Moore. So this book has 96 pages and it is really interesting to read about this book. And when I was going through the Judge Dredd case files, it was interesting to learn about progs and when they all started. So it's really cool to take a look back at this and what it means to so many people. Because while I think a lot of people come and watch my channel to get information about things, this is something that I know very little about outside of Judge Dredd. So 
It kicks off with the different characters that have appeared through the years in chronological order through the 2000 AD books. So this is the first appearance of the character known as Flesh, or maybe the comic was Flesh. Uh, first appearance was Prog 1, came out in the February 26th, or the 26th of February, 1977. And they tells you who the creators were. It's Pat Mills and Joan Box Sola Segales. But Steve White does this particular updated piece. And up here you get to learn who the artists are exactly, what books they've worked on, whether they were writers or artists or colorists in the UK or whether they come from the Americas. Uh, here's Sanford Green, for example. This gentleman has been working, what I know him from, of course, is Bitter Root. I have been pushing that book and I cannot wait for that hardcover. Uh, but he's also worked on covers for Marvel Comics like Black Panther and uh, Luke Cage. But here he's doing a piece of the Harlem Heroes, which also premiered in the first Prague, I assume. Or no, Prague 1, 26 February 1977, and who the creators are, including Dave Gibbons. Chun Lo doing this piece of Judge Dredd, which is freaking phenomenal. And of course, the creators of Judge Dredd, John Wagner and Carlos Esquera, who passed away a couple of years ago. I think it was in 2018. But 45 years of this character, that is insane. And of course, Chun Lo working on Aliens vs. Predator, Thicker Than Blood, published by Dark Horse. But just to kind of give you an idea, I've heard so many of my viewers talk about this character right here. Strontium Dog, oh my gosh, I'm probably butchering that name. Also created by the two uh, gentlemen that created Judge Dredd. But this is Chris Weston's art style. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Mobius. My goodness, that is beautiful. I'm just going to flip through here. Oh, yes. Judge Anderson. Oh, I love this character. Uh, who ended up getting her own comic. And, of course, this is drawn by Phil Noto. Phil Noto has been drawing a lot for Marvel Comics lately. But before that, he was doing things like Jonah Hex. Actually, yeah, it says right here. Jonah Hex, X-23, Uncanny X-Force, uh, Black Widow, and Infinite Horizon with Jerry Duggan. So her first appearance was... In Prague 149, the 26th of January of 1980, created by John Wagner and Brian Bolin. Now, their other creations are in here, too, like Judge Death. And it's um, collecting these in chronological order in the way they appeared. Stas Johnson has been around for so long. I know he comes from Marvel UK. But it's really cool to see these characters. I know, I, I, I've got the first volume of Rogue Trooper. But I know very little about so many of these characters. These, I, I don't even know who this is. Uh, B Venus Blue Jeans. I like that outfit. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Maggot for some reason from X-Men. Uh, I know this one because so many of you have told me about it. I know they're going to do a Ballad of ha uh, Halo Jones collection coming out. Although you all have told me that it wasn't finished. But this is drawn or yeah, painted by Hannah Templar. And, of course, created by Alan Moore and Ian Gibson. A lot of people think or have the opinion that it is the best creation of Alan Moore's. So that's really awesome. Hope to get to read that. Uh, but, yes, a bunch of characters. Uh, there are some that I'm familiar with, some I've heard of, and then some I don't know. Other than the artist, I know Kev Walker. He's I know he comes from the UK, but he was huge here. For me, because he did Thunderbolts and then he did Avengers Arena. So, absolutely loving these different interpretations of their characters. Zombo, who... This piece right here is Kelly Jones. But this kind of gives you an idea of what to expect. The bio on, of course, the artist. And then the bio on the character, who the character is. Like, this is Judge Barbara Hershey, uh, who appeared in Prague 162. The 26th of April, 1980, created by John Wagner and Brian Boland. Here's one of the latest characters from 2014. This is Lawless, who is a character I assume by her costume. She's part of the Judge Dredd universe or the Judge universe. But she was created by Dan Abnett and Phil Winslade. And Sean Phillips does this particular picture right there. And then, uh, skipping the last few so you can be surprised for yourself... Here is the first issue of 2000 AD, Prague 1, featuring Dan Dare. And then 
the issue that came out of uh, 2270 came out exactly 45 years. Wow. Well, February 23rd, right? But close enough. You get the idea. But this was so cool to look at. There's also a 2000 AD encyclopedia. The artist directory, if you want to look for your favorite artist. And then the end pages. Uh, the book itself is printed on this thick, glossy paper. So the art really pops out. It is sewn binding and right at 96 pages. But that, as they say, is that. If you're interested in purchasing this book, don't forget to check out our sponsors. And also check out 2000 AD's website for the exclusive slipcase. If you live in Europe and are interested in buying and pre-ordering Omnis, then you should definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and DC books within the EU, flat rate shipping of 12 euro for all EU countries, bulletproof packaging, and all emails will be answered within 24 hours. They offer a huge selection of out-of-print books. Just head over to waltzcomicshop.com for more great deals and rare titles. And for a limited time, you can use the code near me condition, all one word at the checkout, to get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order of over 40 euros. Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for Omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount, quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content and page count and build of this art book. Let me know in the comments down below. Actually, let me know what your favorite 2000 AD comic is, what your favorite story character is. I'd love to know all of that. Um, this gets me so excited to read Judge Dredd again and to finally make my video part three of that reading uh, adventure that I've been having with Dredd and all those characters. This was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. All that helps with our YouTube algorithm and our channel keep growing. Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.